VTI is a center for world-class research and development of the international forefront in its field. VTI also carries out qualified investigatory work within the transport sector. Its task is to continually improve knowledge about the transport sector, both within Sweden and internationally. The clients include public authorities, the automotive industry, other parties within business and industry, as well as universities. VTI has its head office in Linköping, as well as offices in Borlänge, Stockholm and Gothenburg. VTI is at the cutting edge within simulator technology, thanks to its latest driving simulator for passenger cars, heavy vehicles and rail traffic. It's one of the few advanced driving simulators in the world that's accessible to all users, both nationally and internationally. The driving simulator is a valuable tool in our driver behavior research. The driver is in focus in our experiments, especially the interaction with the vehicle and the environment in various conditions. The virtual world is isolated by creating a scenario that includes only those conditions and situations that are of importance for the research issue at hand and is equal for all involved participants. By controlling the scenario, we can include situations with increased risks, for instance, tight overtaking maneuvers on a motorway. <laughs> We can also study differences between driving while being alert and being tired. And we can show effects of IT-based driver support systems, for instance, navigation systems or cruise controls, already at the conceptual level. Accident-prone sites in the environment can be assessed and new solutions proposed already before they are reconstructed in the real physical world. This intersection has been the scene of frequent accidents and is to be rebuilt. By building up different layouts in the simulator, they're able to easily find the best solution. With this type of tools, we have a possibility to test uh, different physical attributes and environments in road traffic. In this way, we can study aspects of traffic safety, road design, aesthetics and, and environment. This method should prove to be a very cost-effective way to find specific safety problems prior to the onset of the road construction. The simulator enables any variable to be changed while a test's in progress. This is particularly useful when testing a vehicle's handling qualities. For example, the steering system can be tested by changing gear ratio and levels of servo assistance on the fly, enabling the optimum settings to be achieved. Even punctures can be simulated. The vehicle industry is a tough business and the demands on developing new and safe products ever faster are continuously increasing. We no longer have neither the time nor the money to build and test many prototypes. We need to find new tools. One such tool is the driving simulator and we at Volvo are very lucky to have nearby access to such an advanced driving simulator as the VTIs. The simulator contains a real vehicle cab and a motion system that can reproduce quick accelerations and brakings. This is thanks to a new motion system which produces a minimum of friction. Thus it enables smooth and gentle movements to be simulated. The upper part of the simulator, which supports the cab and display screen, can be moved 90 degrees. In this way, lateral forces can also be simulated. Drivers can see the simulated surroundings on a large display and via three rear view mirrors. There's a vibration table under the cab that simulates contact with the road surface. A cab interchange system enables the driving simulator to be easily adapted for passenger cars, trucks or railway vehicles. 
We first decide upon a scenario and then we decide upon the virtual world and the virtual car we need. In fact, we can give both the surroundings and the car the qualities we like. Virtual prototyping is nowadays the way to go when constructing new cars and subsystems and one tries to solve technical problems at this stage before more expensive prototypes are actually built. We are now trying to create an open programming environment into which we directly can use computer models from industry. Thus we will save time and money. What the driving simulator contributes is the driver and his reactions. And that is something that no computer program in the world can do today. In the simulator we can collect all the relevant data because they are continually calculated all the time to keep the virtual world up and running. Behind all this there is a network of experts in vehicle dynamics human factors, statistics and even our own workshop. All those people help to make our experiments as realistic as possible and that they produce the same results in the simulator as in the real car. This simulator was inaugurated in 2004 and has already been used by international vehicle manufacturers and in EU projects. It's also attracted the attention of the international scientific community. Uh, I think uh, the drain simulator in the VTA is a quite high uh, level. It's a world class uh, drain simulator. It's uh, like uh, the pinnacle of uh, uh, technology, I think. I must say that it is uh, the best design of driving simulator in the world. Continuous research is vital as part of the effort to create a more efficient, safe and sustainable transport system. VTI provides world-class research tools. It is a strong and highly competent organization that's always ready to tackle transport-related issues.